All week we are featuring mom bosses, local women who run their own businesses while juggling life as a mom. Today's mom we highlight is busy chasing around two daughters while designing shoes for kids. Her business is Little Love Bug Company. So I went to her office, her home in Hillsboro, and she got real about mom guilt and her favorite part about being her own boss. Okay, go set them up for a picture. I never honestly imagined running my own company, never thought that I would. I loved my job. I was in sales and marketing for the coffee world, actually. I really enjoyed it, but I still couldn't spend the time with my kids that I wanted to. I decided that I was just gonna go ahead and stay home with the girls, which was a huge adjustment. So 2017, my dad got cancer. We had just come back from the beach and we were celebrating his first cancer being gone, being able to take it out. And I was listening to a podcast because they were sleeping. I just wanted something kind of entertaining and found a podcast that actually talked about residual income. I just basically started writing things down. When I was trying to think of an idea to do, I basically thought of the non-slips because of my experience with moccasins and how, especially in the Oregon rain, they slipped all the time. The idea just kind of came from there. Little Love Bug Company, and I call my daughters Little Love Bugs. My youngest, Ella Rose, she grew up wearing them. So she was kind of my little trial and error. I create kind of the look that I'm going for so that I can have a prototype made and then I go through and decide what colors and what kind of leather. I can't tell you how much Google stuff I've had to do or YouTube. One of the major things I had to learn was to keep it simple. It's more of like a community versus like they're just my customers. I know a lot of them, even if it's virtually. It's given me a whole world of moms nationwide that I've been able to touch base with and be friends with that I otherwise wouldn't have. So it's given me kind of a community. I'm someone who's had a hard time with depression and anxiety just kind of my whole life. I think one of the best things that's come from it is first of all knowing that depression and anxiety and the mom guilt and a lot of emotions that come with being a mom is not just me. Knowing that there is a whole world of people out there that get you. Oh, that's a shoe? Oh, I love it. Will you guys come work for me? <laughs> and she's got some little designers on her hands. Um, so Leslie's store right now, for anybody watching, wondering where do I get these? Well, mm -hmm. the shoes are only online, but she's hoping maybe a local business is watching and she can bring her line to a brick and mortar store that might want to partner with her. So I'm just going to put that out there because her shoes are great. They're such high quality. What I love most about Leslie is her story. She's real, like you heard in the story there. Mm -hmm. She talks about real issues that moms face, that everybody faces. Mm -hmm. And she talks about it on Instagram openly. And uh, she, her daughters, Sophia and Ella Rose are darling and I don't know if you noticed but her desk is her kitchen table yes. and when we were there the girls were like hitting <laughs> balloons around and she's like go play I'm trying to do an interview but it was so cute because she just works at home and it's just a, a place of love and it's fun it's amazing she gets anything done I love that she talks about her customers being her community yep that was my favorite part yeah so well I don't know I love you Le Leslie keep going your store is great and okay. uh, we have one more mom boss for featuring tomorrow oh excellent so. that was fun nice. a true sign of multitasking my work desk is my kitchen table. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>